In today's tutorial, we'll be using cotton 165 yarn, 100% cotton, 50 grams, 165 meters in length, and a 2.5 millimeters hook. Let's dive in. Make a loop. Enter your hook into the loop. And chain 20. I'm working on a small to medium size. If you're extra small or extra large or large, please take your measurements of your bust and your cup size. I'm done with a chain of 20. You're going to add a chain 1 to make 21. I'm done with it. And now you're going to work a half double crochet along the entire chain. Skip the first two loops into the third loop and work a half double crochet. And that's how we work a half double crochet. You pull through all. Go into the next loop, pull and pull through all. That's a half double crochet. Work it along the entire chain. I'll meet you towards the end of the chain. I'm almost at the last loop. If you've watched my videos of how to crochet a bra cup, this is what I'm doing at the moment. And I'm using a thin yarn. So your measurements should adjust according to your yarn size or weight. Mine is really thin. So I'm into the last loop. You're going to enter two half double crochets like you've seen. Then chain one, go back into that same loop with two half double crochets. Sorry. The yarn is really thin, so please adjust your, your measurements according to the, your yarn size. Go back with two half double crochets in that same loop. That helps us to create the formation of the bra cup. And then continue working uh, in the loops below the half double crochets you already worked on with half double crochet. Please check the description, YouTube description for extra details. I'll try to make sure I detail what I've, I've missed talking about in this video in the description. I'm getting to the end of my row one of making this bra up. Come into the last loop and work a half double crochet. So this is our first row of the bra. gorgeous you're going to again turn let me see i'm going to show you row two chain one two turn your work wrap your yarn around the hook and start from the very first loop with a half double crochet and continue working a half double crochet until you reach where we had a chain one to form our bra cup. Okay, I'm getting to the center where I had my loop, my chain one space. It's there since my yarn is thin you may not see it it's this you may not see it clearly but I'm hoping you see yours or you can put a stitch marker enter with a half double crochet and another half double crochet those are two again you're going to chain one because that's why you'll be doing the double the two two half double crochets go back with two half double crochets like that then continue working your half double crochet for the rest of the row. I'm 
I'm getting done with my row two. Since I'm working on small to medium, I'm going to work a total of 10 half double crochets of this bra. So that's the way you work it. You continue doing the same thing until you have 10 rows or rows considering the type of yarn that you're using. So I'm going to fasten my video. I'll meet you when my bra cup is getting ready. my bra cup is ready as you can see i'm going to continue from where i stopped from this area set your hook into the loop and you're going to make a chain of 20 plus 2 that is 22. my chain of 20 is ready we're going to add a plus 2 1 2 that's like our first half double crochet. Wrap your yarn, skip the first two loops, work into the third loop with a half double crochet. And you're going to continue working along the chain with a half double crochet. This is my half double crochet. And you're going to work the half double crochet all the way, sorry, from here to there. So I'm going to speed up my video. I'm going to show you when I reach on the part for the bra cup to show you how you should work the half double crochet. And then we continue. So I am getting to this bra cup you're going to work two half double crochet in each uh, row of half double crochet so enter the first loop i like using the extra loops like that and then enter into the half double crochet and work a half double crochet again into the next like two half double crochets into one row of half double crochets so i'm going to keep working mine to fasten this video and we'll see at the end i am getting to the end of my row of half double crochet and last loop so this is my row one you're going to chain one two turn your work that's like your first half double crochet start from the very first loop this loop you can see the very first one with a half double crochet that helps you to maintain a flat base and continue working a half double crochet i'll meet you when i'm getting to the end of this row i am getting to the end of my row too keep it in mind i'm using really thin yarn so our work may not need the same measurements I have one loop left, no, two loops left, sorry. That's my second row. I have 18 rows left to go, so chain two. That's like your first half double crochet. Start from the very first loop with a half double crochet. You're going to continue working the same thing until you have a total of 20 rows of half double crochet or according to your measurements, they could be 16 rows or they could be more than 20 rows. So I'll meet you when I have mine complete. 
I am getting done with my 20th row. That's my last loop. So you're going to chain one and then cut off the yarn. So this is how my first piece looks. I'm now going to work on the strap. I'm going to count eight loops. If you have a stitch marker, you can mark them, but I'm going to count from the first row, this first row of the double crochet I just did. And I put two, then I count six extra to make a total of eight. So I'm going to come in that eighth loop make a loop and enter in that eighth loop you have sorry this i'm going to count them like two loops one two then three four five six seven eight six seven eight so this is my eighth loop and then to the loop you have created chain two that's like your first half double crochet and then work eight a total of eight half double crochet so this is my second half double crochet going to the third half double crochet fourth to a total of eight one i have one left because i'm working two in the in the half double crochet row so these are eight you're going to chain one two turn your work start from the very first loop this with a half double crochet and continue until you have a total of eight you're going to keep working the same thing I worked mine up to a total of 70 rows, but you can do it longer, you know, but I like to have longer straps so that I'm able to play around with them. And at the same time, I'm having 50 grams rolls of yarn and I only have two. So I have to make sure they are enough for this tutorial like that. So chain two. Turn your work, do the same thing. I'm going to speed up my video and meet you when my strap is ready. My strap is ready. As you can see, this color is so beautiful. I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn. This tutorial is beginner friendly. Anyone can do it. It's easy, only basic stitch. So I can't wait to see your creations. So I have my other piece already made. This is called a camo stitch. So I'm going to use it around the under breast or underneath the cup to be able to have a different look of the half double crochet so make a loop come here uh, at the end the last end of the loop and you're going to chain 20 so that we have equal measurement to the extra back part that we worked on so i'll meet you when my chain 20 is ready now 
it's ready I'm going to put a plus two one two pay attention because the camera stitch is a bit different so the chain two was like your first half double crochet so work a half double crochet from the third loop from the hook then continue working a half double crochet i will not fasten my video because i want to be clear with the camo stitch not everyone is familiar with it but it's very easy I am getting done with this first row of half double crochet I have one loop left and um, since I'm going to be working under the bra, I don't have to work it separate. So I'm going to skip that loop into the next and slip stitch. Let me show you again. Skip that loop into the next slip stitch to attach. If you want, you can work on it uh, separately and then you stitch it using a needle or slip stitch. But... I'm going to preferably do it this way then slip stitch into the next then slip stitch into the next so those are two loops you have made slip stitches so you're going you going to turn your work and you know how we work the front loop on the front loop or back loop sorry I need to repeat that so you can see clearly what I did go you're going to wait wrap your yarn going to the back loop and work a half double crochet working from the back of the loops not the front and if I'm not being clear with the stitch, you can go and search about camo stitch and get to know, find proper maybe tutorials on how to work it. But for now, I'm working my half double crochets from the back loops like that. I am almost at the end of the row. I hope my video is quite clear. You can see that I'm working my half double crochet from the back loop. So I have like two loops left. This is my last loop. So this is my row two which is quite easy to but i need you to now focus on the how i'm going to work the row three chain one two turn your work last time we used the back loops that is to identify the front of our our crochet top now we are going to work from the front loops without necessarily going through the back loops so i'm going to repeat so you can see it clearly wrap your yarn use this front loop you see the front loop only the front loop 
to work a half double crochet you're going to work that until the end you see the difference this is the front and that is going the this is going to be the front of my piece this will be the back the inside of my piece so you're going to work and then i'll meet you when i'm almost done with this row three i'm getting towards the end of my row three of camo stitch you're going to again do the same thing skip one loop to the next skip that into the next and make a slip stitch then slip stitch and go into the next slip stitch and turn your work like that and now this time around you're going to use the back loops again we came with the front loops now we're going to use the back loops but you can go google or search about camo stitch if I'm not explaining it right for you so I'm going to speed up my video I'm going to work it at, up to a total of 19 rows but that is considering the yarn I'm using the hook size so do it according to the yarn size you're using and the measurement I'll meet you when I have my 19 rows before I fasten my video, you could also actually turn your work like this so that you're sure on the loops that you're working on. It makes it quite clear that these are the back loops or these are the front loops. Anyways, meet you when I have 19 rows. So these are my rows, you can see how it looks like. If you want, you can work the normal half double. So we are almost getting done. I'm going to join this to this. I want the space there. If you want, you can stitch it, but I will work on that after. So chain two come into the next loop and work a half double crochet we are going to clean up the edge with a half double crochet so work two half double crochets into each half double crochet row I am almost by that space I want to use the cleanup to just join it together so I'm going to show you how to do it you're going to come into the loop hold on you're going to come into this last half double crochets loop enter into the one on the other side pull through and then continue working a double crochet like usual two half double crochets in each row of half double crochets right now our piece looks like this it's literally ready i already have the other piece made as well i did it off camera final touch up i'm going to just work a small stitch 
come in the center loop of, on your bra cup enter in the loop you have created chain one two go back into that same loop and work a slip stitch then go into the next loop slip stitch then into the next slip stitch then chain two go back into that same loop slip stitch then go into the next loop slip stitch then into the next slip stitch then chain two go back into that same loop and slip stitch so you're going to work that just until the bottom end this is the stitch i have just a few left chain two go back with the slip stitch the next and into the next slip stitch chain two and go back with the slip stitch that's all then just to clean up going to next loop and slip stitch chain one and cut off the yarn that's it if you remember the loop I had I'm going to work a slip stitch on it so make a loop Put it together and make sure they are the same because we changed 20 for each so they should be equal enter into the loop pull through and go into the next loop I'm working from the the right side of the piece because I want the stitch to look that messy sorry distracted and enter in each loop front and the back slip stitch it is ready you're going to do the same to the other piece chain one and cut off the yarn i'm running out of yarn so i have literally nothing to cut off do the same for this so these are my two pieces and I'm going to make a, a string that is going to pass through this stitch that I made. Make a loop. And make a string. My string is ready. You're going to enter it through those tiny loops that I made. If you're using a thick yarn, I would recommend instead of chaining two and go back into the same loop, maybe you chain three so that your string is able to pass through. I'm using quite a really thin yarn, so that's why I did a chain of two while working that stitch. You're going to enter it. It's up to you. You can wear it when it's open or you can put the string up to the bottom or you can put the string halfway it's all up to you my string is done i'm just stopping it here just to keep time or if it's my choice you're going to put the back strings as well this is the last of our tutorial and then we'll be ready so you're going i already made this offline but i doubled my yarn because i prefer the back string to be thicker and i'm going to enter into the first two half double crochets i didn't want to create the chain space boxes if you want you can create them but I just wanted to do it different now and I'm going to be skipping eight half double crochets before I pass the string this is the back of our piece 
beautiful and this is the front of our crochet piece thank you so much for watching please subscribe give this video a like and i can't wait to see your versions check descriptions for details